Good morning. In this unit, we'll study about the importance of mushroom cultivation. So here we'll be covering about the importance of mushroom cultivation, what is its nutritive value and what is its medicinal importance and what is the economic importance of mushroom cultivation. We know that mushrooms are very important food. Romans regarded mushrooms as food of gods. Chinese treasured them as elixir of life and mushrooms are rich in vitamins, proteins, minerals, essential amino acids, uh, then it is a low calorie food. That is, the calorie content is less compared to other food and it has less fat and less sugar content and less cholesterol. So the protein content of mushrooms is twice as that of cabbage and hence mushrooms can be regarded as a vegetable meat. Mushrooms also contain important essential amino acids like lysine, tryptophan, threonine, valine, leucine, isoleucine, and histidine. Why the mushrooms are known as delight of diabetes? Because mushrooms are very important food for diabetic patients, we can give these diabetic patients mushrooms because uh, the fat content of mushroom is very, very less. It has less cholesterol content and it has high fiber content also. So the fat content varies from 1.1 to 8.3 percentage of dry weight. That is, it contains nearly 72 percentage of unsaturated fatty acids like linoleic acid. And we know that the presence of unsaturated fatty acids is very much essential for our health. And it has important vitamins like thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, biotin, and ascorbic acid. The fat content of mushroom is very, very less and it has less calorific value, whereas it contains high fiber. That is why, because of these reasons, uh, we can call mushrooms as delight of the diabetic patients. Now coming to the pharmaceutical properties. What is the important pharmaceutical or the medicinal properties of mushrooms? Many of the mushrooms have been used in folk medicines for curing diseases like hypertension, mental illness, diabetes, obesity, and cancer. The important mushrooms, that is medicinally important mushrooms are lentinus, ganoderma, and coriolis. And many of the mushroom extracts uh, induce the formation of interferons. Interferons are compounds that can enhance our immune system. So the mushroom extracts can enhance the immune system of our body. And they have uh, hypocholesteremic activity also. Hypocholesteremic activity means they can reduce the cholesterol content of body. So they are rich food, rich in fiber content, less in fat, less in calorific value, less in fat. And it also contains high amount of fiber, proteins, essential amino acids and other minerals. And uh, therefore, for all this reason, it has been several reports have suggested that mushrooms have anti-cholesterol activity, mushrooms have anti-cancer activity, anti-fungal activity and antibacterial activity. Now, what is the economic importance of mushrooms? We know that mushrooms are capable of agro waste degradation. How they can uh, degrade the waste materials? Because the mushroom, I mean the compost which is used for mushroom cultivation, that is the substrate which is used for mushroom cultivation is known as compost. And this can be, or the substrate can be a uh, waste material from plantations like straw. It can be wheat straw, rice straw, corn dust, sawdust, then wood pulp, even bagasse can be used and sometimes coconut husk is also used. So the waste materials, uh, once uh, mushrooms are grown on the uh, substrate, that is the compost, the substrate which is formed after the mushroom cultivation is known as the spent compost. And the spent compost is highly useful because we can use this for cultivating other mushrooms. And therefore, uh, this mushroom cultivation, it generates income. It provides additional avenue for increasing food supply. And uh, there is huge export potential. We know that mushroom cultivation, because uh, see, in the world market, the conception is such that 14 lakh tons of mushrooms are consumed per annum. So it also provides a source for rural employment potential. 
and mushroom cultivation needs only less space. It needs minimum space and it can be grown under cover in basements, in garages and even in shady areas. And of course, it's a women friendly operation so that uh, we can diversify the income opportunities available to women and thereby we can enhance the family welfare. Now, what is a spent compost? I have just mentioned about it. Spent compost is the substrate from which mushroom have been harvested. That is the substrate which is used for or which is used as the compost in mushroom cultivation is known as spent compost. So after you harvest the mushroom, the substrate remaining is known as the spent compost. And the spent compost is an excellent source of nutrients for plants and animals. And we can utilize the spent compost for growing another mushroom. And it is used as an important fertilizer or soil conditioning agent. So this can be used as an alternative to poultry manure. It's an excellent animal feed and the spent compost is rich in proteins and easily digestible. So I hope this class was interesting and inspiring for you. In this class we discussed about the important aspects like nutritional value, medicinal value and the economic importance of mushroom cultivation. So in the next unit we will deal with some other topic. Thank you so much.